Hi, welcome back to Hot Mocks. I got a new mock here today that I've built for Lego Build Day. Um, it it comes every year on December 27th, right after Christmas. And, yeah, so I built this today, and it is a caterpillar telehandler. And its main job is basically a forklift, but forklifts can only lift a certain height. This can go much higher, and I'll show you that in a minute. But these could go up to like these could go up buildings that forklifts couldn't do, and bring supplies up and stuff. But I got a cab here, and I used a windscreen piece. I used two of them facing either way. I got a light there, a side view mirror, another light, and then. This is the newer version of this model. Uh, the other one, the other version in real life had a yellow cab. This is the new one with the black cab, just to fit the color scheme. And I got an exhaust here, and that is, well, it's just that that came off. But it's a pinhole that goes all the way through. And then I used one of these upside down claw pieces, and I kind of like it, but um, you just can't have that. You have to have it lined up correctly. Um, I used the yellow tires, and let's turn it around. And this, I don't quite like this because it goes a little outside of the wheels. Um, this is a little bit more than eight studs with the side view mirror right here. But on the back, this is the counterweight that would keep it from tipping if it was carrying something heavy. I got two lights here. When I first completed this and had it, and was looking at real pictures of the thing, it, I didn't have the lights, and I like the lights now that I added them on. I didn't when I first did it, but now I kind of like them more. And a crucial thing that I had to do here was make this lift realistically for posing. So I got it to actually lift. And it can go quite high. It can go vertical. It wouldn't do that in real life. But it's got... It can go completely vertical. It wouldn't do that in real life. But it's got a hydraulic right there. Um, yeah, so it's got, a it's got a hydraulic right there. And this can go up and down. And it can extend. That's the limit right there. But it can go that high and still make it level. And it can re-extend and come down. But this is a this is a regular crane lift arm that goes all the way from there to there with the extension. That's not like that that's not that's not one piece with this thing. But I added a couple of bricks onto here to make it higher and Usually this would be thicker, and it would come out, and then come out, and then come out like a... It would, go, it would have a smaller li lift arm inside of a lift arm inside of a lift arm. This You can't do that really with Lego, so it only has that two times. Usually it would have it three or more, four, and um, usually exhaust would be over here. I didn't do that because I liked it over there. But it can pick up a pallet, and um, it has to be six studs wide with four studs in the middle so that it can lift that. But it has uh, stabilizers right here that tend to come off, but it has stabilizers that can come down, and those would, those would usually come down because um, if it's picking up a really heavy load, um, like a pallet of bricks or something, or something heavier. It would need those so that it doesn't tip forward. Uh, I didn't really know how to do that, but I used like a fire extinguisher top part so that I could angle them, because if I didn't, then it, this wouldn't be able to come down. Um, but I got it sloped here, and yeah. I really like this thing, and this is going to be on display. Thanks for watching. Bye.